NYC at TheMatrixStudios.com. We are here each and every Friday from 10 to 11 p.m. I am your host, Ad On, and I got my co-host here. Miss Rock. Uh-huh, and I got my boy, <laughs> DJ Furious, on the ones and twos. And right now, like I promised, as y'all been seeing, as y'all been watching, you know what I mean? We got my man, my brother, my mentor. Definitely look up to this man. He has done amazing things that I'm, I'm trying to do. You understand what I'm saying? I got top fight flip in the building. You top fight what's know, going bro. on, baby? You already know. Welcome, man. Thank you. Man, thank you for coming out, brother. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you for having me again. It, 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 yeah, <laughs> man. It means a lot, man. You got a lot going on. We got to definitely update the world and let them know what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Since the last time you was here. Oh, okay, just yeah. just been working. Uh, okay, I, I put a, a single, uh, a, a remix single of um, Drug Dealers Anonymous, uh, Jay, Pusha T and Jay Z. Okay, yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah. Pusha T and Jay Z. It's a remix. Uh huh. <laughs> I, I I caught a I caught a peep of that right yeah, there. You know, that was banging. That shit Appreciate had me knocking. It, that was knocking, top. That was knocking. I seen that you put it out now. Does, is that meaning something? Like, are you? I'm, I'm working on a project. It's there gonna be. Go. It's okay. gonna be a you know a bunch of remixes. Probably about okay. maybe maybe eight. Definitely six. You know. It's okay. On, you know. Okay. Okay. Now, Todd, you've done original joints for some cr dope people. You understand? What inspired you to just be like, yo, you know what? I'm gonna remix everybody's shit. I mean, cause it's time for, for the remix, you know what I mean? Remember at one point, everybody like, you know, like Puff, you know what I mean? Like all the, the, the you know, the, the producers that was killing the airwaves, they was remixing everything. Yes. So I think it's time, like, you know, I haven't seen a project where people remix the whole album. Facts, facts. In that a while, I would say. If they did, I haven't seen it in a while. Ooh. Okay. That's a fact. That's a so fact. So, what do you think about this um, new music that's coming out? Because we're looking at like a Jay Z, you know, the legend. But what about the new generation? For you? Well, I'm I'm I'm, you I'm gonna remix uh, Takashi Six Nine record. Okay. Yeah. So I'm you know I want to oh, see. Oh boy, like I wanna that. hear this. So Yo, I gotta hear this. This is that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I'm still figuring out. You know, I want to make the balance. Okay. I just want to, you know, people to hear my flavor with, with you know, the, right. these marriages with the lyrics. I also seen you. Um, you did a star in the making on YouTube. What was that? Um, it's like you did an audition for um artists like oh 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 okay i probably did a talent search yeah, a while ago search. yeah okay. mm -hmm. yeah are you planning on doing one right now future? i'm just want to put out this uh this remix project work that mm -hmm. i got a compilation i'm coming with right after okay half of it might be um upcoming artists so i might do a contest to be on you know the rest of the album That'd see who can dope. get the slots you know okay. what i mean yeah yeah that's interesting are you are you um and are there any artists that you're working with at this time specifically, or do you have any artists like? I mean, not under me right now, okay. but I've been working with uh with Eric and Rock. You know, the uh, the project is gonna be under Eric's label, Death Squad. Okay. So um, Eric, when you say Eric, Eric Sherman, Eric Sherman. Oh yeah. All right. Shout he, to he, Death he, Squad. Eric, Eric Sherman, Sherman. y'all yeah, remember that? Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all need to know who he is. Definitely, Death Squad. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, so they know it's Eric Sermon. Okay. Super producer and Rock Wilder. He's another super, super producer. producer. Which so, I can yeah. hopefully, man, it would be amazing to have you guys on the show and just have a producer. I mean, I'm going to holler at them. You never know. Man, that will be no time, man. I'll be so grateful and gratefully gracious you know for that, I'm man. Try, though, for you. That would be dope, man. You know, Taz, I, I, I've been working in the business, moving in the business, moving around, you know, and Taz is... I, I came under Ty and came as a mentor. You know, I really look up to this man and everything that he's done for the music business. Y'all don't know, y'all need to find out exactly what this man has done for the culture yeah. of hip hop, not just for the business alone. You know what I mean? So you definitely, you know, as a kid from the Bronx, I definitely appreciate that. Man, time, you know I appreciate man? you, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? I definitely so, appreciate So, you know, man, that, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to hear me this project, too, man. man. Me too, man. Me too, man. Yeah, you know? I, I wanna, I wanna, I, I know it's gonna be something special. I mean, I'm messing with it, you know, with a couple. I, I got a, I got a Nas remix. 
I got a, I got a Michael oh, Jackson wow. remix too. Oh my yeah, God, so. Michael Jackson remix. I got a I got what? something I put together with um Eminem, Mac Miller, Asher Roth, and I'm wow. calling it I'm calling it Mount Rushmore. Wow. So it's gonna it's it's it's, it's different. Ooh. It's different, you know. See, I'm staying up there. When he goes live, I'm like, okay, what he working on? Uh-huh. Somebody? <laughs> Word. Yes. Word. That's what's up. So just to give people a little bit of a um history of what you've done, but what inspired you to get into the music? Like what what started it? Just for people that don't know. Who I mean, you are. I was DJing first. Okay, you know, so it started I was out doing as a house DJ. parties, mixtapes. And you know, I just I I, I always had the ear as far as the music because um you know djing gives you that mm -hmm. timing yeah I, I would say so and then i was in a group i was the dj in the group so like uh what group was that huh? oh it was too long ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. too long ago but anyway okay <laughs> crazy um yeah you know i was the producer for the group so you know i i learned a little bit of production but it wasn't until i got down with ted that I actually learned how to produce a record and arrange a record. Okay. And you know what I mean? Really put my foot down with the production, making sure that the sounds hit the way it's supposed to, the timing, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like, I like to make sure everything is on point. Oh, I know that. <laughs> I know that. I, I've had the, I've been fortunate to have the opportunity to work with Ty. He's definitely a perfectionist. And I respect that so much. He knows exactly what he wants. You know what I'm saying? So, and you gotta respect that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it's someone that knows what the hell he's doing. You know? So that I've been grateful for that. You know? Um, when you said Ted, um, Ted, Ted, Ted Teddy Riley, Teddy Riley, okay, super producer, <laughs> another super producer. Nah, he, you know he might be one of the best that ever did. Period. Yeah, man. I yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I've seen, I know his work, period. But That's I've so seen him actually working. Like when he does his little live, I be like, wow, man, yeah. this man is amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So Teddy, as a matter of fact, my homegirl Daisy, she's on the live with us right now. The live feed, man, she, she works with Teddy. And Hey Deja, okay. what's yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, Deja hey. Hilton, yeah. She she works with Teddy, so you know, i you know, I see her, you know, doing the background, doing the things, whatever, and man, it's, it's amazing to see that work and see it's awesome to always see our artists work at its craft. Nah, know he's saying? he's the best. Yeah. Period. Like yeah. you know, to change music. The way he did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's worked from everybody from Michael Jackson down to Luther Vandross, down to oh, wow. Carlos Santana. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, yeah. This, this, <laughs> you don't know, this is a heavy hitter here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We don't, I'm we, uh, at our radio, <laughs> you, know. you know what I'm saying? We we try to bring y'all the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? We try to make it happen. Yeah. We try We try to really make it happen, bring it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So when we come with y'all, we come up informative. Now, Ty, mm -hmm. people that want to work with you, people that want to, what you call it, you know, how they could, how, how What's the best way to like reach out to you? And what advice would you give up and coming producers? Up and coming producers? Mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, do the best you can in making longevity music. Don't try to just be for the, for, for you know, for the moment. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? That's true. Because, it, because you get everything. your, you get your five minutes of fame pretty much. Like you gotta win on Yeah, this. you gotta monopolize on your time that you're here. That's true. It's, it's, it's difficult to be in the music business past five years. Wow. So that's the actual lifespan of... No, I'm not gonna say the lifespan, but I'm saying if you can survive past five years, you're doing pretty good. Mm. I would say so. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like some people get to 10, but then there's some people that you don't hear from them ever again but what does that take away from their success or does nah, that nah i mean once they made a hit record i feel like that's a legacy within that's itself that within itself that's yeah i would say yeah. that yeah i agree i i would agree with that so because but, you already capture a, an audience they already know that's right. who you are that's in the right. game that's right right so yeah that's already I, I, I yeah i definitely would agree with that but the thing is is capitalizing on that success being relevant 
during that success or keeping yourself relevant. Yeah, that's important. Keeping yourself relevant, keeping yourself current, keeping yourself in the mix, in the public eye, everything counts. Where you think music is going now? I think it's it's always it's always excelling, but I feel that music is starting all over again. In our culture, it, it, it's coming back culture. to real authentic talent. I think I agree with you because it's starting over because now we have platform of social media. You know that's a big help. Yeah, you know yeah. you could have your music done and you promote it on social media. That's an audience. You you know you get yourself seen more than having to be going out and giving your CDs. You know like. Back in the days, <laughs> it's so many artists. What would you say to artists that at this point are looking for record deals? I'm just saying it. I mean, you can look for one, but at the same time, you can be your own, your own label, your own brand. You know, it's kind of better to brand yourself. But yeah. I ain't gonna lie. If 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 I was burning up and a label came at me and they want to cash out, I'm gonna do it. Because it's not, it's not, you know, labels are made to have machines. Mm -hmm. So people work in departments to work your record. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes Correct. when you're independent, you may be doing it as the grind on the way up, but you might not be able to reach the connections that the label can reach. True. True. This is true. But I mean, wouldn't you eventually be able to reach those connections? If you say so. If you got a social media presence? Maybe, you never know. Well, to, I mean, I don't do music, but just thank you. You're in like, the entertainment business, so it's similar. It's just, to be able to build your platform and social media, you have to have a group of people behind you. A team? A, of course, a team. And they'll help you even more, because they put your music together. You gotta have a team no matter exactly. what. So I'm just saying, the majors have their marketing teams, mm -hmm. radio, yeah. mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, so yeah. they're prepared for all of that. Yeah. I mean, that's true. This is true. This is true. This is true. But I mean, I'm like this. You know what? Like I said, brand yourself. Mm -hmm. You can brand yourself. You can build your own audience. You can do all that, you know, and then they'll come knocking. That's where it's at. That's the way I see it at this point. Build your brand, do all the footwork, and then we'll come. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's you guys that helps the music, the, the beat. The producers. Exactly. What do you feel with mm -hmm. that? As far as with the producers, uh, um, how they're treated nowadays with the record labels and such. And dumb people able just to grab and grab and beats and how the beat how the whole production market has changed flipped upside down Ty. i mean it, from when you started out to now the difference it's always going to be different as years change but there's always another way where there's a will there's a way exactly. i mean there's new guys <laughs> out there i'm sure they their fees is high it's gotta be you know what i mean yeah. You pay for popularity. But there's hits that were made from $30 lead. Every day? Every day. I don't believe that. I believe it's a diamond in the rough. Is it? That's what I believe. You I agree. Wait. I, the, the, I, I believe you might get lucky, but there's no guarantee in going to one of them sites and downloading you know i feel like you know it's cool i'm not knocking nobody's strategy but i would say mess with people that know what they're doing and you know kind of strategically plan out how you're gonna go about your career does that make sense yeah. it does it does but at the end of the at sometimes time it doesn't go the way you strategize you know what i'm saying not necessarily okay. i wouldn't say that it's, it's like Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't, but nine times out of 10, if you strategize, it's anything, anything you do in life, 
you plan it out, you got a team, it, sh it should be success. Exactly. With the team. I'll go with that. With the that's, team. That's, that's, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what. It's, yeah. With a team, you should have success. Yeah. There, there shouldn't be. I, I, I've seen people do it on their own, but they don't last long. But the motivation, but it is that when they're doing it, right. When they, That I agree. 100%. The biggest people in the music business all had teams. Yes. The biggest people in the NBA all had teams. Yes. Right coach. Yes. Right players around them. Yes. Boom, yes. Bam. All the so, same thing. The key, the key one, so one of the biggest keys, the major keys to success is having a, the team around you. But the thing is, it's cool. You, you get a team around you, but the motivation, the excitement, I really feel that everybody has to be excited about the project in order for it to be get to a level of success. But the artist has to be, you know, motivated and talk to the public. It starts Bring, from that. It starts yeah. from the artist. The artist the leader. makes it starts the, from artist. the artist first. Yeah. Yep. It is. I, I agree. I definitely agree. Because you have that. a team, they put everything together, and now it's you have to go in front of the audience and speak to them you know that's why i thank god for social media yeah you know? social media you guys are amazing there. i see you guys yeah, are tuning in man them. you guys are amazing don't forget y'all can tune in go to the dsnbx app on your uh, your google play and your apple's i store i itunes store whatever I, I, yeah whatever go and tune <laughs> in on that we got top five we're talking to top five right now in the building we're talking about projects and how the music businesses and the state of the music business you could call us up at 718-239-9200 that's 718-239-9200 so Ty, um when we know and we established the team is important and this is one thing that i learned coming and working with you was you gotta feel jackson this shit. yeah that's a fact you know what I mean? You gotta really coach and like be the leader of the team, not just by telling them what to do, but by showing them what to do. You know what I'm saying? Or even establishing. Am I correct? That's a fact. I mean, I feel, I feel, you know, that that's a essence. But how, as a music producer, when you're in the studio, you're the cat, you're leading, and you're you're you're, you're guiding the thing. What is the difference between a beat maker and a music producer? It's a big difference. Um, a beat maker is someone that actually constructs the, the beat on the program or the machine. Uh-huh. The beat is done. Just the beat? That's it. So he can give you the beat. Now what you gonna do with it? How you gonna make the song? But that's what I'm saying. When they're doing a beat, beat makers not constructing the beat. No, they just it's, it's a, a loop. The difference between a producer and a and beat, beat maker. Right. So a producer, okay. what a producer does is they basically they conduct. Uh huh. They bring out the best in the artist. They show you what they're looking for. Um, they're part of the final overall completion of the project. Uh huh. They're part of the composing, the writing. They're involved with the direction, just the overall production. What you put out is being a producer. That's that's a big that's a big difference. So a lot of these people out here that just doing beats, calling themselves producers. I don't know. You can't knock them, but I mean they, you know, they out here. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, I respect everything. You gotta respect what they doing it, you know that's true you gotta respect it but when it comes down to it when you're on front street uh-huh it's gonna happen yeah so yeah some the yeah. real people's gonna know what's what yeah yeah and if you ain't I what mean, you say you are you, that's gonna be out there and, and and i know person this business is small everybody's Every, I'm in the music business and no, the motherfuckers that's really doing it in this business, they all know each other. Right. <laughs> Everybody knows each other. <laughs> even even if you think they don't know, they know each other. People from other sides of the country know people on the East Coast and it's just like, you know, you, you're not going to be able to escape if you, especially a grimy motherfucker in this business. So don't try to come in this business being grimy because it's going to be exposed. You know what I'm saying? So, but... You know, it, anyway, 
that's another topic. <laughs> that's another one yeah. within itself. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of snakes in the grass, but that's why you got to keep your grass cut short. Meaning you got a small circle. You know what I'm saying? Keep the circle tight. With all you people. But anyway, Ty, man. <laughs> is there anybody who, that you want to work with? Yeah, everybody. I'm open to everybody. <laughs> I, don't, everybody. I don't care if it's an upcoming artist. The Drakes, the Chris Browns, okay. Beyonce's. So for the people that are watching, the people that's on the live, and the people that's going to be on the podcast and everything, how would they be able to get in contact with you and, and hit you up? And, oh, on my you know, Instagram, The Real Thai Fife. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. The Real Thai Fife. Just spell it out for them so they can... Because I know I... The Real Thai Fife. Yeah, the last name, but <laughs> same way. They, it's not duh, it's the. The. <laughs> 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 Two yeah. F's. F-F-E. Two F's. There go. Yeah. F F Y F F E. Yeah. All right. Real top five. Time. Let the people know. Um. That's it. They just wanted you. That's all. That's all. Yeah. The the, the the uh the remix project is coming. Narcotic uh -huh. remixes. Okay. You know. You you could check it out on my SoundCloud. Okay. I'll be promoting on Instagram. Okay. And, the uh, remix project, man. What's the name of the that. project? That's narcotic remixes. Narco ah, that's no, that's yeah. drugs. <laughs> I like that shit, son. That's drug narcotic remixes. Yeah, word. That's what's up, man. Top five, man. Thank you for coming through you know on the show. Up. Thank you. Rocking with Thank us, you very man. Much. We, we definitely gonna have you back on. You I'm know brother. what I'm saying? Any project, anything, you know, I'm nothing but a phone call away, big bro, man. It's always an honor and a pleasure to have Same you on the here. show. Man, man. Same word so Ty man we're gonna sign out this is add on radio nyc i am your host add on we'll be right back i got my boy dj furious he's about to rock out for y'all we're gonna turn y'all up it's friday